turn this thing off. There's like the cat break. <coughs> Alright, Shalom. My brother bring me up to Chicago, connect to another lesson to the spirit, probably how about Shah. Lord, it will be edifying. But first off, I start off by giving all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakat, Barash. Double line to the positive great meals from her will. Insights is all you brothers around the four earth, pushing his word, truth, sincerity. No, no. Yeah, basically, hop right to it. Yeah, basically, you know, is um, you had a uh, so-called Queen Elizabeth die, right? You know, she just you know, you know uh, passed away. All right, and uh, you know, people in this world were thinking, oh, hey, she, she she's you know dead, and she's never going to come back, so to speak, right? Hey, but what, uh, what we were talking about in class is basically reincarnation, right? And look, this is not the end for a uh, so-called Queen Elizabeth. All right, you know. This is not the end for her. She, she's gonna uh, hey, go back into the spirit uh, realm, all right? She, oh, she already went into the spirit realm. She's already got her judgment, okay? And eventually, she's gonna come back down here through reincarnation. And what we were also talking about in class that, you know, for the most part, it what happens every you know third, third fourth generation. Fourth. But if the Lord, if it be the Lord's will, He can have her come back immediately. She uh, she could come back through one of her you know forefathers you know one of the men's you know uh, seed line right and, and get you know brought back like that man get okay a, get, get a missile still come back in slavery get ass exactly that's right the point being at the end of the day yes, she's gonna have to deal with the uh, judgment she's gonna have to deal with you know uh, agony pain okay sorrows and this is what's coming to the Edomite race all right all right I got three so uh, um, can you get real quick Second Ezra at fourteen? I got thirty-four. It. This uh, uh, we'll chef, we start off with that. The second Ezra, <clears throat> second Ezra is fourteen and thirty-four. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall obtain mercy. For after death shall the judgment come. Exactly. For after death shall the judgment come. So ain't no such thing as. Here you go to hell. Whether you good, whether you're good or evil, everybody goes to the same place, man. And you come back here, you get your judgment. You come back here on earth and play it out, man. Oh, yeah. Hell is a condition play on earth, man. I was just gonna get that because I was gonna say you're gonna have that person that says, "Well, uh, uh, you know, you get it uh, in the spirit, you know, realm and all that stuff." Yeah. You know, no, it happens. Look how the elders said here on earth. This is uh, what is that? Ecclesiastes three sixteen. Yep. Con, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I'll start at 15 though. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which had been is now, yep. and that which is to be hath already been, and the Most High requireth that which is past. Okay, so the, 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 the Lord is going to require, okay, that which is past. The, the Lord is going to execute judgment, you see? And if you've a sown wickedness, all right, you're going to reap it at some point. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. And what's under the sun? Earth. It's the earth, man. Okay? So that's where the uh, place of judgment is. That wickedness was there, and the place of right righteousness, that iniquity was there. All right? Point being, though, is that, hey, how uh, King Solomon said, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That This is where uh, uh, your uh, uh, judgment gets played out here on earth. All right? I got, um, I got some... Uh, it's uh, Psalms 116 and 3. The sorrows of death could pass me, and, uh, and the pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. So, when you're in, sorrow, you're in trouble and sorrow, that's hell, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I appreciate it. right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7 says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it. So you don't go to hell after after you die, but the spirit goes back, you know, or, or so-called hell, as, as the Christian church likes to say. But a, a spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father, right? And there, you know, he brings you back to the third and fourth generation, you know, and then your judgment is a, a, a place here on earth, man, you know, after death. Yeah, that's why we were going uh, into it in class. You'll have, you know, a newborn die, you know, three-year-old, 
five-year-old die, and people be like, oh, he, he, was a, he was a great kid. He didn't do anything wrong, this, that, and the third. And the question is, uh, how do you know that? Right. You know? And what, what, did they, what did they do in, the, in their past life? Yeah. And this person could have been a serial uh, murderer, a serial killer, as they say, a serial rapist, all right, a thief. All right, an adulterer, so on and so forth. Yeah, I got something for you because the Lord's judgments are righteous, man. The Lord's not unfair in his judgment. This uh, Job 4 and 7 said, Remember, I pray that whoever perished being innocent. Exactly. Or, who, or where were the righteous <coughs> cut off? Or whoever uh, perished being innocent. All right? Hey, look, everyone has done something wrong, man. That's why they get into, you know, exterminated, man. They get executed by the Lord, man. All right? And these people, they, they, like we were going into it, that little three-year-old, that, that, that two-month-year-old, all right, they just they, they they died because they did something wicked in their past life. Yeah, okay. Tell you, tell you, wisdom Solomon, the twelfth chapter said, the Lord don't bring judgment upon you if you don't deserve it, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, that even goes for your Shai. Yeah. Your Shai say whoever perish be innocent. Even your Shai had to die for the sins that he committed in his past life. Yep. That's all, yeah. All right. Hey, to prove that, not to cut you off, well, Larry, to prove that, when you go to Second Samuel, the uh, seventh oh, chapter, they tell you that uh, that Solomon yeah. shall be uh, beat with the stripes of men. When had that happened? Solomon had a, a peaceful death. He, he reigned and, and he perished. So in reincarnation, hey, that proved that Yahweh Shai was Solomon because what Yahweh Shai had that grievous death that Sam, that that uh, Nathan prophesied. That it will be. <laughs> I got you real quick. Bible was I was holding this. I got some real quick. This uh, Hebrews nine to back you up in twenty seven. It says, and is it a, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Yahweh Shai was once offered to be. So how, how, how the hell? So after this, after you die the judgment, how is that possible, man? If you don't never come back again. Right. <laughs> it says, so Yahweh Shai was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him, shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. All right. So what the Lord or the Lord bared his iniquity. I think it's written in uh, Hebrews that he uh, he was going to bear his iniquity for because uh, he came and he was righteous, but he was going to bear the iniquity for his past sins. Man. Yeah, it tells you that. First for his sins. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Said first for his own sins, yep, and then yeah. for yeah. the people's. Yep. All right. So if Yahweh Shai didn't come and sin. Why was he dying for sin? That's what I would ask a Christian. They, can, they never could explain that because reincarnation. He came back and he had to pay for his past life sins. Yeah, because he Solomon went off. Adam. Yeah, because he he never went off. He never went off as Yahweh shot man. That's right. Well, he's paying for like I said when you Solomon and Adam. Well, right. what's the way to sin? Yeah. 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 No. Can you, can you finish, oh. can you finish that uh, real quick? This uh, back of you, brothers, guy. Back in Second Ezra 14, 35, for after death shall the judgment come mm -hmm. when we shall live again. Exactly, when we shall live again. All right, you know, we were going into uh, that wisdom of Solomon too, man. And you see, the wicked in their mind, all right, in their counsels, they believe that they only live once, basically. Yeah. You know, when you go into that, that chapter. Yeah, kind because we used to go on over class because he's a fugitive, man. Yep. That's his way of escaping judgment. Like he just got away with everything. Mm -hmm. Never coming back again and pay for, for the shit he did. Yep. All right, they, but these Edomites, they're gonna pay, man. Okay, they're gonna pay. They they, they have to. Yeah. It's a requirement. Yeah. Right. He said, uh, uh, his own son paid. It pleased him. Yeah, it pleased him because again he went off with Solomon Adam, man. So his own, if his own son had to pay, if the nation of Israel had to pay for their iniquity. What makes you damn devil think that you're going to get off scot free, man? Give Mike a two and three real quick. I would say the please, the please, the rules on the top order, just hold it. You know? That's right. I got something real um, quick. Can, can you uh, finish? Did you finish it off, Todd Warren? A little more. And then can the brother get that Mike a two and three? Okay. Okay. Give it to the brother. Hold on. Let him finish that and then get the Mike a two and three. It says, and then they got when we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Exactly, all right. At the end of the day, everyone's, you know, they don't know who did what, all right? You see? But, um, this is, uh, I get that. Yeah. This is, uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 3. Start at 1, though. This Micah, points in 3. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that divide iniquity. Yeah, and look, 
that goddamn demon Queen Elizabeth and her family, they've devised a lot of iniquity. A lot of, hey, all, all, this BS that you see in this world, okay, right now, that's playing out, is because of her people, man. Her and her people. Well, America is, is the uh, 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 sister to England, man. Yep. Nope. It's a day of born, uh, uh, born the, uh, uh, to be ashamed. All right, England is the, uh, the, mother. Uh, um, the mother of, of America, man. Mm -hmm. I think because they, they, they dress it up pretty with a queen and they don't got no guns and all like that, man. England is wicked as shit, man. Yeah. Don't forget, man, they, um, 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 uh, um, a lot of uh, the whitewashing was over there, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I had a dude, um, um, he was in the military. He, was gonna, he never dealt, dealt with the, um, the women over here uh, <coughs> before I walked up to the troop and went to college. He never. He always dealt with the women on the other side of the world. He was telling me, "Yeah, man, he's you know, these Western women here, the trash, man. I don't even like dealing with them." He, he was just over here, uh, the, the complete uh, college, and go back on the other side of the world. He was like, um, "Yeah, man, you know, hey, you go on the other side of the world. Stay away from England too. Now, they're no different mm -hmm. from over here." Yeah. 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 This is. And work evil upon their bits. Mm -hmm. In the morning is light, they practice it because it is in so the like, you, you gotta remember, hey, these, these are uh, that the queen and her family, these are the ones who ordain, you know, these so called explorers, all right, to come over here to this side of the world to conquer men, all right, to steal the, the natural resources and bring it back, all right. Hey, her, her people. Not just you know the you know the you know uh, not just Israelites but also even the heathens. Mm -hmm. Hey, look what uh, England did to uh, the uh, India, man. Okay. You know that's just one example. You know. So they didn't. They, 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 that's their people, man. Well, also so they're too, gonna have to pay for that shit. Well, also too, they uh, um, uh, they totally um, uh, flipped. The, uh, 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 from the patriarchy to the matriarchy yeah. over there too, man. Yeah, that's they assimilated into the bloodline, or try to assimilate into the bloodline of the original um, uh, 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 um, Israelites, man. All right? And they are not the people who they say they are, man. Yep. That royal line, that royal lineage. And they married into that and took on the matriarch side of their kingdom. That's why the queen was ruling, man. Hey, uh, even to go into what you just said, um, when uh, the Duchess, uh, when she married, it was uh, Prince uh, Henry, you know what I'm saying? She had a dinner with uh, some of the, the royals, so-called royals, and uh, it was uh, Princess uh, Michael of Kent, wife of Prince uh, Michael of Kent, Queen Elizabeth II's first cousin, was spotted wearing a racially offensive brooch on her coat while arriving to the palace with her husband. The, the, the accessory is a piece of blackamoor jewelry which fetishes images of slavery. So she had on her on her coat as an ornament of jewelry a blackamoor. It was a figure of a black face, which, which were the Moors who were ruling before her people came into power and took over, man. So that was a form of, hey, you know, you got this. He had to marry this black girl. Let me show this black girl that, hey, you know, we took all your shit and you know what I'm saying we just we use y'all ornaments as figures and things like that. Speak lawfully against oppression, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's what Esau. Hey, Esau can't hide the wickedness, man. Yeah. Keep going up. Verse two it says. And they covet fields and take them by violence yep. and houses. That's how they got everything. All right, through through that story, <coughs> through violence, deceit. Okay, they didn't you know get this kingdom, you know because they were so wise, inventive. All right, so on and so forth. No man, and they, they, they uh rape, robbed, and stole everything. Yeah, that's in John ten and ten. The thief coming out, but to steal, kill, and destroy. That's yep. what he's done, man. Right. Keep going up. It says, in houses and take them away, so that they press a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Yeah, like the brothers were getting into, man. They literally uh, stole the family names, all right? Stole the, the heritage, you know, heritages, all right? Stole, you know, all, all the jewelry, all, all the, 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 you know, the wealth, basically. 
said, you know, this is ours. We've always been here. When they, they, they haven't been, man. Hey, like the brother Mataz has said in, um, in our group chat, hey, you know, she, you know, he was, you know, praising that the Lord killed her and said, hey, she wasn't royal anyways. And, and he's correct, man. And that's like, as the scripture said, that, 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 that's a servant on horses now. Right. All right? That's a servant on horses. Hey, <clears throat> and they're supposed to be, you know, uh, uh, working for us. Hey, but, you know, through prophecy and our disobedience, hey, now we're in this, you know, condition. Yeah. All right? But things are going to flip very soon. It ain't nothing but, but they ain't nothing but the basis of men and women. Hey, uh, do y'all remember that? Y'all remember when um, Prince Henry and his wife came to go, go to a basketball game where LeBron was playing? Y'all want to talk about that? Uh, remember when they was uh, playing and, and he met the uh, the Duchess or whatever, and he said that you can't touch her because she's royal. This is LeBron James, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, an Israelite. Of the of a royal lineage, and he can't touch her because she's so royal. But she's well, a base uh, Edomite, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's base, but they made up rules that say like, okay, yeah, this yeah. nigga can't touch her. That's crazy, man. That, that like the brother said, a service on horses, man. All right, our sir, service, uh, uh, service on horses, and uh, Prince is walking. The Prince is walking as a, a service, man. Yep. It's crazy. And the, the, the true prince has got to enter, you know, entertain the servants now. Yeah. Because yeah, that, that's all Jake is, a goddamn jester, man. That's it. Man. You know, yeah. all Jake can do is, you know, fucking dump a basketball, all right? Sing. And sing, sing all right? Dance. And commit crack jokes. Tell us the other thing. Tell us jokes. You know? Dance and stuff with it, because Yashra, I mean, he's the prince of power. So, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That was supposed to be the princes, but the, the roles are flipped right now, man. Yeah. You know, so. Keep going on. Back, on. back in verse 3, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, yep. from which they will not remove their necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. Exactly. You Edomites, you're not going to escape your judgment. Look, hey, I mentioned on the line before, man. You were able to cry last time, you know, throw a fit, all right, when you were, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, Cain, when you were, uh, you know, Esau. You were able to do it, you know, in the past. But this time, man, no, man. The Lord's going to make sure you, you, you're going to get your judgment, man. You're not well, they've been revealed now. Nobody's pitying yeah. them, man. Right. It's just about how the, how, how the hidden things of Esau started to tell. And we know who you are now, man. Mm -hmm. hey, nobody's going to feel sorry for somebody who raped, murdered, defrauded, killed, all right, changed, the, changed laws, all right, to benefit them. going to pity you, man. How are you going to pity somebody who has... Who the Lord gave everything to, man. Yeah, he, he knows it. That's why now this last thing he's going to do is get caught. Yep. Yep. That's, right. that's, what, that's what he yeah. does. Kind of knows it's a verse. Whatever brothers got after they got. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Messiah. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according, according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. And then that's, and that's, that's everybody, including you damn Edomites. And we know you haven't done anything good. It's all bad. So you're going to get a, the most harsh judgment possible, man, because your, your iniquity piled up, man. And like we were talking about, and we were mentioning it in class, and that woman, man, that Queen Elizabeth, all right, that dog, and they did, this is a person that was sacrificing babies, torturing people behind closed doors, all right? You know, you know, all these orgies, doing all sorts of vile acts. Right. You know, acts that the scriptures talk about, you don't even want to, you know, talk about it. You know, roughly paraphrasing. I forgot how it worded. But you, you don't want to, you know, speak about it and mention it. Okay? You know? If, if, you, if you were to see these things, you, you'd probably damn near puke, you know? Yeah, you, oh, you would. Serving, no, you would because, you know, they show um, uh, uh, those... Um, Askenazi, man, but those those uh, uh the bitch priests, you know, putting their mouth yeah, on the uncircum on yeah, front, sure. you know, circumcising their mouth. Yeah, circumcising, you know, circumcising little kids. They yeah, taking the excess. Yeah, man. They give them herpes through that too. Yeah. Well, shit, sheep sheep are getting herpes, man. Turtles are getting herpes, man. He said, he said, he said, I should bring the worst of the heathen, man. Oh, is it getting monkey box? Come on, man. I got anus. I got some. Just, uh, oh, wow. 
this uh, Revelation 6 and 4, it says, And there went out another horse that was red. And he saw him. There, there's the men, the red <coughs> men and women, man. They're not white. They start calling themselves white in 16.1. Elder Malcolm bring this history out all the time, man. Prior to that, they they weren't the white, man. You know, they're red. We get, we get a good look at them. They're red. They different shades of red, man. Shit, Jake in the South calls them rednecks. Right. So, yeah. it, it, so it says, and there went out another horse. Horse represents power. That was red, and power was given to him, so he didn't get this power on his own, man. The Lord gave, raised him up and gave him the power for prophecy's sake, man. So it says, um, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, man. Ever since he's been ruling, you know, it's, none, it's been chaotic ever since he's been power. And matter of fact, it's been getting worse and worse the longer he's been in that ruling seat, man. You know, the scripture tell you that, man. Wickedness increases when the the, the, the wicked bear rule, man. Yeah, kind of say he says there's death too. Yeah. So wherever he goes, uh, it's just a, a a culmination of death and violence and yeah. wickedness and iniquity, and that's America. Yeah, yeah, I got you. This um, it says, and they that it said, and power is given to them that sat there on to take peace from earth, and that they should kill one another, yeah. and and there was. Given unto him a great sword, which that blessing was given to him by Isaac, man. That sword, man. He ruled by the sword. That's all. That's all he knows, man. And guess what? It, it, Isaac what is was your house shot in reincarnation. How shot is gonna come back and take that blessing away from his ass. That's right. So I believe. Uh, no, I was gonna say the spirit. I was like the uh, it was wanted to, you know, take a piece from the earth and ruling by the sword. You know, how many uh, years have? This place uh, called America been established, and how many years of of uh, non war you know have they had compared to the years of war have they had? And I believe only like six. Sixteen years. Old. Yeah, it was like yeah. I, 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 that's how I know me. Yeah. I thought it was like six years. Yeah, yeah, it might be like you six. Know? It's not. It's no more. Uh, it's no more than twenty years. Yeah, right? yeah but it's know? like something like like fifteen, sixteen. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just goes to show. You know, this man and he rules by the sword, man. All right, he is the devil, man. The scripture speaks of. So he said that he come down with great wrath, no, he had a short time. Right, he saw when he does things, man, it's on a mass scale, man. It may not be quickly, all right, but he's gonna poison the water, right? To where the whole community is drinking out of this water. Then 30 years later, you find out everybody uh, um, got fucking lymphoma and shit, man. All right? He doesn't straight out just kill you, <coughs> right? But when he does, he'll pollute your um, 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 uh, 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 water, he'll give you uh, a genetically modified um, um, organisms. All right, to where in 20 years, you're developing high blood pressure and uh, a, a, a coronary heart disease and asthma, all right? ADHD. Yeah, you yeah, know. You, you got to do it away so you won't figure him out. And there you go, yeah. yep. Then you go run to his pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. all right, for a so-called cure. And now these, uh, how would I word these? These uh, injectable fluids that you get, all right? That's supposed to prevent things mm -hmm. or cure you. Now all of a sudden, they're finding out that these things are harming you, but they're not going to tell you that. You know, through <clears throat> these you know mainstream sources, you have to find that out through alternative, you know, um, outlets. Hey. And then they, and then they it's, it's a lot. I had to think about how to word <laughs> this properly. Oh, no, like Gappy, if y'all, if y'all want to talk about Gappy, you know. All right, but the point being is that um, there's no money. In the cure, yeah. All right, how am I going to make some money of somebody and they're um they're not sick? I got to keep them sick to stay in business, man. Yeah. Hey, that's why I tell you that Esau is a murderer and he's a liar. Hey, no matter hey, hey, no matter what this man do, even they go back to Cain, man. Hey, when when he slew Abel, hey, when the Most High asked him, what did he say? The first thing he said, I'm on brother keep him knowing that he slew he slew Abel. He said, I know not. He said, I know not, man. Right. So is this the same man that's ruling to this day? Can I get two precepts? If I'm no, you can't. No, you can't. Can. Can. <laughs> now it's on topic because okay. it is Revelations ten uh, and eleven because it's proven reincarnation, right? It said, and he said it to him, me, that I'm gonna prophesy again before many people mm -hmm. and nations and tons and kings. Now this John the uh, Revelator saying that he was gonna be back in reincarnation. Doing these same things that he did uh, oh back back when he was uh, doing this on the same on, on the island of Patmos. So how much more Esau is that doing the same thing now? 
Yeah, everybody, hey. yeah. No, I was just saying, everybody come back in their lot, man. Yeah. You know, scripts say prophets prop are subject to the pop prophets, man. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, John, the rough lady, he's back. Prophesying the downfall of this this wicked kingdom right yeah. now. So, hey, Esau, it's never going to be true, man. He, he was a liar then, and a murderer then, he's a liar now. Hey, that's why this man must be destroyed, man. I got one more. He said he was a murderer from the beginning, man. Yeah. He full of the sin of his youth. You know, like Apostle Roman when he came and he said, look, you saw ain't smart. Early right, just reiterated. Like he, he ain't changed nothing. He just did the same thing over and over again. And if it works, it works. If it don't work, you don't give a shit. You're gonna use the same trick next door, man. That's what he does, man. Yeah. He's playing, man. He's the basis of men. He ain't smart at all, man. He just hides behind his goddamn um technology, man. Well, well you know what? Yeah, he, cause he th he think he gotta thank the Lord and, and uh, finesse the Lord, man. The Lord created your stupid ass. Man. Well, as Cain tried to finesse the Lord yeah. by offering up that, that bogus ass sacrifice. Yeah. So he had the same mindset. Mm -hmm. You're not fooling the Lord, man. Yeah. He think his ways are better than the Lord. He think he can do it better. That's the mindset that? of this fucking devil, man. See, I said that. See, the seed of the Mosai. See, I said the seed of the Mosai. Show that I am the Mosai. I'm the Mosai. Reminds me of a. I got one more. Reminds me of that uh, animation. It's on YouTube, just type in, I think it's called Man or the Man, mm -hmm. all right? And it shows you the mindset of Esau and, 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 and the deeds of Esau. Yeah. Hey, the Edomite, proud as hell, walking around, stealing that cartoon. everything, yeah, that that cartoon? Cartoon. Yeah. just stealing everything, eating everything, killing everything in sight, destroying everything. What does he do? You know, he throws on that uh, that robe, you know, the, the, the crown, got a scepter in his hand, and he's laughing, just walking around. And then, you know, everything's all messed up. And then what happens at the very end, though? He gets destroyed by, by a chariot, man. Yeah. And that's what's going to happen to you Edomites. That's right. All right, at the end of the, uh, of the day, all right, yeah, you know, yeah, you're going to be stopped by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Yahweh's going to send his son Yahweh Shai to stop your demonic ass, man. And then you're going into slavery, man. Oh, man. Okay? And then, hey, they, they, those Edomites that didn't get destroyed, all right, on this side, you know, via you know the missiles, they were ready in the spirit world, right? Like Queen Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth, you're coming back, man, and you're getting your fucking ass beat, man, in the kingdom. I got All some, right? real, I got some real quick, Malachi. What you, what you said? It's uh, Isaiah, thirty-four and seventeen. He had cast a lot for them, and had, and his hand had divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever, even. Ever from generation to generation, they shall dwell therein. So you're gonna come back to your sign lot. Whatever you was doing in your past life, like John the Revelator, he was a prophet, he's serving the Lord, he's coming back doing the same thing. He saw him come back being the same demonic devil we always been. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. And, and to back you up, just proving his his wickedness at his Proverbs four and, and sixteen, it say, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief, Perfect. and they sleep is taken away, unless they call something to fall. Mm -hmm. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Damn, Man, that's Esau and Mo. Yeah, he, he don't even get a good night's sleep unless he <laughs> calls something to fall, like the brother Red man. Mm -hmm. He he devised some evil plan. Now he's sleeping with thumb in his fucking mouth. <laughs> 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 you saw a, a backstabbing nigga, man. He'll he smile in your face, and then right behind, he plotting just to uh, bring you down, man. Mm -hmm. hey, he stab you right in your back, man. Look, you right in your face, like, oh, hey, how you doing? And then right behind, as soon as you turn the back, he's ready to put a knife in your back, man. He, even after you busted him. No, I, I got the foot. I saw Tech you doing it. He'll still he the not lie in your, give you a straight face and lie in your face, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though they have this caught your stupid ass, man. That's a. That's just a damn devil. Man. Fuck it, This is um, Job. Hey, you niggas don't want to save this dude. I don't want. If Esau can't make it, I don't want to go. Guess what? You're not going. Good. You're gonna you're gonna die here right along with. Him. How about that? You fucking nappy here, nigga. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> and so Job chapter three and verse ten. Job chapter three it says because it's. Job chapter 3, verse 11. It says, Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out my out? It's like, Why not gave up the ghost when I came out of the belly? It says, Why did the knees why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breast that I should suck? 
Since for now should I have lain still and been quiet, I should have slept, then had I been at rest. It says, with the kings and councils of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves, or with the princes that had gold, who filled their houses with silver, or as an untimely birth, had I not been, as infants which never saw light, since there the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together. So all spirits go before Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. uh, every, all spirits, man. No matter what you do on earth. But the difference is, when you've done wickedness, you're going to come back and play out the judgment, man. Yeah. Once the Lord bring you back here, man. Since there the prisoners rest together, they hear not the voice of the oppressor. Mm. The small and great are there. We're going to show you that there ain't no fighting, there ain't no fucking... There's no such thing as hell, man. Yeah. There you go. No such thing as hell, man. They like said, King David said, I made my bed in hell. How can you do that? And so he's burning eternity in the bed and like what? That made no sense. Well, the guy will say the air was in hell. Right, and they righteous. Yeah. Hey, hey that, that is explaining Jonah then. Yep, when Jonah saying. said he was in the, in, the, in the well in the belly of hell. Mm -hmm. Right, and I that it was condition. Death in hell. Cast to the labor fire. Yeah, there you go. And the scripture says, My sword should be bathed in heaven. <laughs> like, you know, that's the other, you know, the other part to it. You know, you got the condition of heaven, you got the condition of heaven, right? You know, which the heaven is speaking about Esau's even uh, kingdom, his, his condition, this is his heaven. Right. So even, you know, just people in this world, they say, well, I'm catching hell. You're right. You know, hell that means you're what? You're, you're doing terrible, man. All right, you got judgment, you know, <laughs> the judgment hitting your ass, man. Car broke down, lost the house, you know, or you got back pains, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the and then you know it's crazy. Same people, like you made that statement. Yeah, I'm just catching hell. These dumb motherfuckers believe in the hell after. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> right, right. Stupid. Right. <laughs> they got the concept. You just don't understand. It. They already said it. They, they don't want to believe in truth. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it deals with accountability. That's it. You and then it deals with them have to be judged for their their wickedness. Yeah. They they think that they, they can buy the uh, their um. Uh, the way out of judgment. Well, as long as I get my 20 bucks, my 100 bucks every week, go to church, sing for an hour or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm good. No, man. What was this? What was the script say? Silly wooden women laid with iniquity. Yeah, they think, they think that's, they think they good and good, good standing with the Lord just because they go to some damn church on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. All, all on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? But the, you know, with this so-called queen, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, what they, well, from what I've seen, you know, you had a bunch of memes, a bunch of posts, you know, talking about, you know, had a meme where she was like, on, on like a big old gate, talking about some like, oh, this is actually trying to get into the pearly gates. And oh, yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you had other other posts like, oh, yeah, she going, she going to triple set hell, you know, all types of blood, because you know, that's the mindset of these people, you know what I'm saying? They believe, oh, oh she did all this wickedness, now she, she going to hell, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, the same people, the same females and niggas that's, you know, saying these things ain't no better than her. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Right. You know, so it, it's just bugged out. You know what I'm saying? How, 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 how the masses of these people work, man. So like these brothers get into. It is no such thing, man. It's true. That's brought out a joke, man. You know? Hey, we all, hey, we all, hey, we, we, we die. All right? We go to the spirit world, man. All right? And like the brothers brought out at the beginning of this lesson. All right? Then you get your judgment. You go before the throne of the Lord. All right, then you get your judgment, and it's played out on earth, man. Like they brought in Ecclesiastes, you know. So, you guys have free time. So, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin, or the leopard his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil? Because that's that's how the Lord programmed Esau Edom. All these Edomites, their whole DNA is to do nothing but wickedness. <coughs> They're just doing what the Lord made them to do. Yeah, that's what their job is. Say he created the, the wicked for the day evil, man. That's their role assigned to them in this movie, man. Yeah. We, we, we just read uh, Jeremiah. Con. Yeah, yeah, Con. Script say he's born speaking lies. So it's in him, man. I, I was coming, uh, came across this article. I forget what it was about, but about racism, talking about some damn. Racism is, is taught in the home. No, it's, it's instilled in It's in them, man. That's right. Or program us not to get along with each other. Jacob and Esau, man. You know? Yeah, because every time you, you be around them, it's awkward. Yeah. Like, you, y'all, because y'all in this society, y'all try not to invent each other. You're like, because we don't, we don't match. We don't get along, man. We were even talking about it um, 
when we went to the beach for the lakefront yeah. and the day of atonement, the elder and I we uh we went to a basically a beach out here and um they had a lot of uh you know there's you know Edomites and Jakes and whatever heathens in this you know particular area, but you had always had um you know within like the Edomite group so to speak right you always had that token you know black guy so to speak <laughs> or you know whatever you know what I'm saying or black you know bitch and shit you know what I mean right. and like when you look at the Jakes they're you know they're amongst these Edomites their actions are so unnatural you could just tell that like that fake is, or that that laugh is fake all right. You know, uh, that movement is faked by that Jake. They're trying to sit there and impress these Edomites. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can read it, man. You know, yeah. it, it's completely unnatural. And it's like, God damn, man. And then, you know, it's funny. It's when they get around, back amongst their own people, they act like their natural self. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like true that way, right? It's right. It's and then they sort of respect you anyway. When, when you see these token Jakes around, these sort of like that, you just perceive, you observe, these sort of respect you. They sort of respect us more because they understand we hate them. Yeah, so they yeah. have a little bit more respect. Hey, we're hey, not a fucking doormat. Yeah, so hey, you saw like hey, you know, um, con, con. Remember the Ice Cube video? Ice Cube did a video about uh, pretty much. He called him up with, we know the real meaning all the time. You know, really a sample nigga. This is other music video. They had some nigga around eating work we saw. They showing the monkey picture right in front of his face. He laughing along with him. They yeah. they disrespect your stupid ass, yep. man. Right. Yeah. Because you because you Israelites don't got no respect for yourself, man. You don't know who you are. So you just like you like the brother said that precept. Uh, trim you trim your way to seek love. Mm -hmm. I fucking treat you so just like I treat everybody else. Man. I don't yeah. talk to them any nice. And yeah. I talk to them whatever. If you don't like me, I don't give a fuck. And then, they respect that more. Yeah, yeah, kind. Of. Then they go out their way to prove to Esau. That they ain't like these average niggas. He saw him give a fuck. He still don't judge you the same goddamn way, regardless. It don't even matter where I'm at. He'll still throw you under the bus. Yeah. All right. He'll still smear your name. Mm -hmm. He don't give a fuck about you, man. He wants to be in, you know, the top. You know, he, he wants to be in that. You know, he wants to be the top dog. All right. He wants to be in the uh, rulership seat. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. That's that's what this this uh, new world is all about. About he the top dog itself for the women. Woman could be over his ass because he's a fucking homo, homo any damn way. But <laughs> they tell you in Psalm that the animal parts think that they're gonna rule forever, man. And he actually believed he he, he figured out a cheat code to rule forever, man. No, the Lord said that you have a point of time that you want to rule, and then He's gonna disappoint you, man. Yeah, Lord got yeah, Lord got you in a trick bag because you've been ruling so long doing your stupid shit, so you just just. just Deceived, thinking that you're gonna be doing it forever, but you're just in the trick bag, man. Ecclesiastes uh, uh, eight and eight. There is no man that has power over the spirit mm. to retain the spirit. That's the spirit that Esau is in. He's in the spirit that <coughs> the wind. He's in the wind, wind spirit. He, his house is gonna live, you know, continue forever, man. He's gonna continue to give his wealth to his uh, 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 siblings and so forth, right? Right. This guy is gonna dig into dig in the earth. Yeah. He's gonna build in the, in the sky. He's gonna build in the in the, in the in the mountains. He's gonna continue. He's gonna he's gonna think he's gonna continue, right? And then then you brothers, hey, you got same you got same mouse mindset, man, with this truth, man. Like he saw believe really believe in his vain ass mind. They gonna come with this demonic ass scheme to rule the earth in wickedness. His demonic plan. He really believed it's gonna be successful. We got the same mindset. And scripture say we're gonna win, man. That's right. We go ahead, brother. Uh, <clears throat> there is no man that has power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither has he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. And Esau is given to wickedness, man. And he can't, you know, he can't change his can let him change his spots. No, he can't go. Oh, it's, it's a great gulf between him and us, man. We can't receive what he has, and he can't receive what up we have, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's man. Because the judgment's already written. Yeah. Right. Judgment is already written. You're going to have some that are going to be victors and some that are going to be losers. And look, you Edomites are going to be the losers at the end of the day, man. We're going to be the victors, man. All right? Because this is what... You, this is your judgment. This is uh, Psalms 
149.1 Praise ye the Lord, and I will sing unto the Lord a new song. And his prayer and which and his this prayers work, this the, word right here. Yep. That's the song. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're trying to change the channel, man, but yeah. it's not gonna happen. That's right. Alright. And you try to cut off that one channel, look. Go to the flip it to the next one. Same song's gonna keep playing. It's gonna keep playing. No matter what channel you put on, it's gonna keep playing, man. You're not escaping this shit, bro. Yeah. You're gonna keep listening to this, man. We don't give a fuck if it makes you go crazy, man. We're gonna keep singing this, this song nonstop, man. Yeah, and guess what? You forget. You know, the man of the Lord don't give a fuck either about, <laughs> about your ass what you think, man. That's right. You exactly, yep. Yeah. It says, in his prayers in the congregation of the saints, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the de in the, uh, in dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the uh, timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. And that's what's coming for us, man. All right. While you eat a much are going to be destroyed, we're going to be saved, man. Okay. And it says here, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, and punishment upon the people, to bind their kings in, in, with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron. This is what's coming to you Edomites, man. Look, hey, Queen Elizabeth, this is what's coming to you soon, man. So you know it now, all right? Hey, you're you're in the spirit uh, world. You already know it. Mm -hmm. Lord already gave you your judgment. He tells you, he told, he told her, you know, hey, this is what's gonna happen. This is what you got coming to. Here you go. All right. Cause you know she lived delicious. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, look at her, man. She's got all those, you know, uh, you know, the rubies on and the, the the sapphire, the pearls. You know, she she had a little set, a little, just a little, little goofy bitch, man. <laughs> Fucking five feet tall with a fucking scepter, man. Was well, was still talking about you know that um if you live that age, man, the Lord was with her, man. The Lord was with her to, mm -hmm. to live to be ninety six years old, man. He said the most of the days a man of what three score, three score and ten. Mm -hmm. Paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. And the Lord was with her, man. Yep. All right. She 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 had the world um, enamored, man, marveling at her, queen, 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 everywhere she went. People would bow, kneel, send gifts to her, man. People would send gifts to that bitch every motherfucking day, man. Money. What the bitch gonna do with fucking money, man? Gold. She had a whole, gold. She had warehouses full of gold. Man. Living in castles that we have built. Yeah. That's, I believe that's because, man, she's wearing our jewelry. Yeah, of course. They, you know, yeah. All those rubies, all that gold. So what, nation, is our stuff. what nation has that got a part of us spoiled, man? They, they came into, a, uh, they married into our families. Yeah. That's our shit, man, from the ancient, uh, 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 what is it, um, the dark ages. during the dark ages, yeah. man. That's our shit, man, that these Edomites have. Look, we were, uh, I forgot who it was, uh, somebody was, well, I forgot what brother I was talking to. But we were talking about basically, like, just the architecture, right? You know those castles aren't built by Edomites, man. Esau does not build like that. They don't have the creativity to build like that, man. That's our shit. Look at Esau's shit, man. It all is just a just flat. You know what I'm saying? It's a big glass wall. You yeah, know what like, I'm saying? Like, like a goddamn cave, like yep. in the rocks or something, man. That's it, man. Yeah, that's how you know the Dark Ages ruled by the Israelites. Yeah. Like you said, the architecture alone proves that, man. Yeah, man. It, you know, our, our buildings, you know, got you know particular parts of the building are round. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got you know uh, all sorts of you know beauty to the. You know, our, our people are very um. You know, they pay attention to detail. Creative, yeah. Creative, oh, all right? And them buildings are still standing to this day, man. Yeah, look at Esau's shit, man. It's falling apart, man. Oh, man. <laughs> all these bridges are about to, you know, you know collapse, all right? <laughs> no, we're proving the point, too, because it's really about uh, the warm, so covered it. Mm -hmm. And that leads to corruption. Yep. Esau, Esau built America, all right? You see how he built? The bridges are rusted. You got potholes. You know, you, you paved the street. A year later, after the winter, you got fucking potholes, man. All right, you got all these things that are, that are deteriorated. When you go over there where Jake built something, man, those things are still fucking standing, man. Yep. Structurally sound, man. Mm -hmm. And when you go on vacation, 
and go on those tours, they don't even allow you to go into certain areas because of the artifacts and the art yeah. and the um, um, paintings and the things that are on the walls, man. Yeah. So just let you know that Esau Elam had had he had nothing of himself, man. He's a culture vulture, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I got yeah. something real quick. It's with Messiah six and seven. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person. Mm -hmm. Neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness, for he hath made the small and great and cares for all alike. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty man. That bitch was mighty, man. All right, although she didn't have no physical, political power, so to speak, but she had some power and authority over there, man. She's a counselor. There you go. Like, where, uh, like the brother brought up there, where in the Job, uh, where was it, the counselors and the kings and spirit world she's back she's one of them counselors she counseled for 70 years as the queen man well mm -hmm. she had power man she did she had a lot of power all right the pope needs to get together man america's got an answer to england man yep that's all i'm gonna say why do you think hey uh did the american presidents go to england and they meet with the queen it's a big deal yep all right so she had a lot of power she was calling a lot of shots man all right you know hey yeah, yeah caused a lot of wars a lot of pain, sufferings to people's lives. That's just, why, hey, these 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 Edomites are gonna pay for this, man. They're not running away. That bitch is not running away, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you just because she's, you know, for lack of words, dead, right? Okay, you know her. Mm -hmm. uh, that spirit, you know, left that particular flesh. Look, man, that hey, hey, her spirit's coming down into new flesh, and she's gonna deal with the ass whoopings, man. She's, she's gonna deal with the tortures, man. She's gonna deal with the shit that she's a uh, cause, man. Hey, I was gonna say real quick, what the scriptures say about uh how it shot to that to the man that pierced him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He say he basically when he comes back, he he's gonna be looking for those men. You know, and this to show another example of reincarnation. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey like brother was getting to the Queen Elizabeth, man. Like, she ain't escaped nothing, man. All oh, wickedness is definitely gonna be be a uh, recompense, man. That's right. Uh, this second measure so, so like, that was the beginning of her end, man. Basically, facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. She died. Lord took her ass out, and it's just gonna be hell from you know what I'm now saying. Now the game begins. It's just yeah. gonna yeah. out. Yeah. She's got yeah. nothing but hell coming up. The scripture say the triumph of the wicked is short, and but for a moment, you know. <laughs> yeah, like like you said, beginning of the uh, uh, the, uh, the court, you like Lord could bring her back here just to get the missile, then bring her back to it's get slavery. Like, Yep. Right. Right. Uh, so the Lord not be mocked, man. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, second measure seven verse fifty six. For for while we live and commit iniquity, we consider not that we should begin to suffer Ooh. it after death. Shit. All right. So hey, brother Sam and Queen Elizabeth, you know, yeah, she, you know, she ruled a long a long life or whatever, you know, but she don't have to suffer after death, man. Whether it be in the kingdom. You know, which ultimately all Edomites are gonna uh, suffer the same uh, uh, um, fate. But hey, she's gonna, uh, the Lord's gonna require of, 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 of her, man. Yep. All the wickedness yeah. and atrocities she committed, the Lord's gonna make her pay for every last bit of it, man. Yeah, hey, these, uh, what did the scripture say, man? That, the, you know, how it says, uh, I think in Matthew it says that, uh, First shall be last, and the last shall be first. All right. She was first on this. Yeah, it, she was one of those, you know, first people, you know, so to speak, in line, man. Right. So she's gonna be one of the last people in our kingdom. So she's gonna have to deal with a lot of shit, man, in the kingdom. That's right. Now, I've said this to uh, brothers before too. These like these upper echelon Edomites, right? You know, the the the, the Rothschilds, these you know. Uh, world bankers, these uh, so-called, the, you know, so-called nobility that Esau has put into power, right? These, those ones, uh, those people, right? They're now they're going to get fucked up by us. They're going to get fucked up even by the other heathens, right? But they're also even going to get fucked up by their own people during slavery, like those, you know, those uh, Joe Blow Edomites, right? They're going while, while they're you know, you know, digging pits, man. They're going to be kicking the uh kicking the uh, these rock childs in the ass too man beating the shit out of them all right why right, because they have um uh was it on my father eating uh sour grapes for me for everybody and they're gonna complain about ungodly father man because look 
Yeah, they're gonna be mad. They're gonna be mad as hell because they didn't get a piece of the pie, man. And even now, Esau is mad at Esau, man. Right. Yep. right. Hey, those, those militias are mad at their goddamn um, um, brethren, man. Yep. All right. They, hey, they're willing to jump over us to go storm the goddamn capital, man. Shit, they want to team up with Jake. Yep. To, to, to go storm the capital. Yep. You know? Jake gonna jump on, on the board. Yeah, jump on the board. Exactly. You know? Exactly. You know? But that's how, you know what I'm saying? They're like, fuck it, I'll team up with this, uh, you know, this spick and this nigga, man. Any enemy of my enemy is my friend, man. Until, they, until he has no need for you, then he's gonna show his true colors, man. Exactly, yup. Make you Jake's meat puppets. That's what they're doing. This is Isaiah 47, this is back of uh, Abiyala. It says, I'm just gonna get to the point. Verse 7, it's like, it says, And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither did it. Yeah, these, uh, these Edomites, they, they don't consider the latter end as the scriptures talk about. They, they, uh, think since as the scriptures say in the book of Psalms that, um, what, what does it say? I was all together. There's one, one with, There's one well, six, Such as one as thyself. Yep. Yeah, so they, they, they believe since the Lord, you know, did you know, execute that judgment and they, they were able to get away, you know, for lack of words with these crimes. They, they they don't they don't consider their latter end that it's going to be death destruction agony etc. He said um uh, uh, um the scripture talk about how um he said um for I'm rich and they don't shepherd the pity them not man like ain't nobody standing up for us man all right ain't nobody really out there trying to trying to um uh, 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 teach and, and, and preserve the heritage of of the and being an Israelite all right nobody out there um um uh, 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 trying to trying to put the, put the covering back on us for our people man. All right, nobody's speaking out against uh, these damn niggers, man. Carjacking every five minutes, man. Mm -hmm. Robbing, smashing, and grabbing every three minutes, man. Shooting each, Shooting each other every fucking minute on the red line, man. Jake throwing each other off on the goddamn train tracks, man. You see? And, and don't nobody stand for us. He's all like, man, fuck it, man. Um, <coughs> they don't care. Why should we, man? He said that we should lay down on the street that they may go over, man. He's a uh, Jake and them, but a fucking uh, welcome and uh, uh, not a welcome, a doormat. Yeah, doormat. Yep. You know, which, which, which is welcome, because if we lay down, hey, just walk on over, because we don't give a shit. But all we want to do is smoke nuts and twerk all day. You know, <laughs> and they had an algorithm, right? Because um, uh, was it um, TikTok from China or something like yeah, that, right? China, yeah. In China, they don't put all that twerking shit over there on their TikToks, mm -hmm. man. None of that damn bullshit that we got over here, man. That's right. Uh, it's like an educational device. Yep, it's an educational device, man. You know, students, you know, with their homework, etc., man. Positive, so-called positive images, man. But yet you're feeding into this damn shit as a, as everything entertainment for you, man. That's why the that's why the people have no respect for you, man. All right, you're fucking um immoral, man. So I got something. It's uh, please ask these eight and eleven. Because sentences get say evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them do evil. Like like you said, it's because okay. the Lord didn't judge them right away for their wickedness, man, and for what they've done to, to to his people, man. So now they just think the Lord's with them, man. Right. You know this is uh, verse twelve. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet that bitch lived a long life. You yep. said ninety six. Yep. So, so it says, uh, it says, yet surely I know that it should be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. You know, it might not seem that way now. Hey, like the scripture tell you, uh, surely there is reward for righteousness, man. It seems like you being wicked, it prospers, but you being right, you, know, you don't prosper at all, man. That's what it seems like right now. That's how the Lord got to sit up anyway, man. You know, verse uh, 13. And that's a test right there, man. See if you're going to still serve the Lord. <laughs> even, you know, even if you catch a hell, man, for doing what's right, man. You know, uh, verse 13. But it shall not be well with them, with the wicked. So it's eventually it's a payback for the wicked, man. It says it right here. But there shall not be well with the wicked. These shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow before, which are as a shadow because he, he feared not before the most high, man. So yeah, man, and we come into a bound where you devils can't pass it. Say in Job fourteen five, 
The Lord allowed you to do all your wickedness for a set period of time, man. But now that time's going to be over with, man. You know, now, you're, now it's time for you to get judged for all your, your wickedness and iniquity. Well, Kendall said, it's all envious of the, um, 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 the wicked, so I discovered the latter, uh, um, the latter end, man. Yeah, they look like they're not going to be in trouble and whatever happens to them, man. But we know that in the resources, they're going to get burned up and destroyed off the face of the fucking earth, man. Mm -hmm. yes. And King David understood that, man. All right? Just like the, the triumphant of the wicked is but for a moment, so is our captivity, man. Yeah. All right? So we're going to be ruling real soon, man. All right? This is death. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. No, man. they're going to get the heart of judgment ever, man. Yep. Yeah, you'll, you'll definitely see the war of the wicked. Yep. You know, uh, starting the you know, destruction and what they gonna go through in the fucking kingdom. Man. They got a thousand year period of suffering. Mm -hmm. And uh, scripture say a day to the Lord is a thousand years. Mm -hmm. you know? So they got a long time to suffer and to build and to work. That's you will be without employment. Yeah. You will. You want to worry about. Not yeah. unemployed. Ain't no, ain't no unemployment checks coming to your ass, boy. You ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to worry about standing in line. Damn. What am I going to do today? Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? You're going to know what to do. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't know what to do, you're going to learn the hard way, goddamn. Hey, man, that, that's, that thousand years is going to be long, man. Yeah. Time's going to be slow, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? This, I'm going to speak as a man. Like the Apostle Gabbard did the math about, you know, um, of the time period and um, of them being the truth. Was less than an hour. So you figure 30 some years, 40 some years, less than an hour, right? So I, I imagine a thousand years, man. How, you know, I'm just speaking as a man, but, each, but the road controls time, mm -hmm. you know? So you can have that sitting there, you know, burning up for 40 years, and it'd be like an hour, man. Yeah. You know? Exactly. I got some, um, this uh, Psalms. Uh, 58 and 10, it says, The righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for righteousness, for oh, verily he is the God that, that judges in the earth, man. So, the righteous, amen. It's going to be shown that you know, fallen ways the Lord does, does profit, man. When we get that salvation, man. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The most high God is not mocked. And you know, they have mocked, they have mocked our Lord and Savior, man. God watch you got shot constantly. They knew, like he was going into it. They had. They they knew what 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 building they were in. They knew what 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 uh, 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 merchandise they were holding. They knew all that. That's mocking them, the Lord. Just like that account in Daniel with who was that uh uh the uh Belteshar when he had uh, his, 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 his concubines and wives and them drinking out of uh, yep. the temple. And the Lord came and said, You were wanted, you were wanted right now. He's wanted right now. Still the Lord asked right now. It says, Be not deceived, most high God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, he shall uh, uh, also reap. You know? And that's reap, man. That's your judgment. A thousand years. A thousand years of slavery. Then you're going to be burned off the planet. Whatever. Wickedness and righteous rich, wickedness uh, shall not rise up a second time. The scripture says. Yeah, because you fulfilled your purpose, man. That's right. Your purpose was to be be the wicked, man. Now your job is done, man. So there's no more use for you, damn devils, man. You gotta get your ass whooped first. Then there's gonna be no more of you, period. Man. And I might add, job well done. Yeah. Perfect, perfect damn devil. Scripture says you should be as a trend. <laughs> This is the book of Second Maccabees 7 and 31. This is the last brother of, you know, because King Antiochus killed his past six brothers. But now this is the last brother speaking. It says, uh, and thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews and shall not escape the hands of the Most High. For we suffer because of our sins, because that's why we're, we're in the condition that we're in. You know, that's why we're we're in the lowest and the, the head shall be the tail and the tail shall be the head. You know, just like the brother quoted as well, that, uh, I've seen service upon horses and princes walking up upon the face of the earth. That's why we're in the condition that we're in because we messed up as a whole nation. We got judged, you know, so if right, rightfully so, we got judged uh, judge against our power. Our power is going to judge these heathens, man. It says, uh, and though the living Lord be angry with us a little while, 
for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. But thou, O godless man, and all the other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up a, a lifting up thy hand against the servant of the Most High. For thou hast not yet like a for thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the Almighty God, who seeth all things. So the Lord is going to get you, get every single one of the heathens, man. They think that they escaped the judgment of the of Yahweh Shai, but that judgment is just going to come a sooner or later, man. Can you brothers get a uh, real quick? Maybe we can end it off with this. Uh, was it Revelation 13, 9 and 10? Uh -huh. Classic scripture. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Exactly. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. Exactly, man. All right. And look, those people, those East Star, you know, all the Edomites, all right, they, you know, we're talking about Queen Elizabeth, they, they let our people in the captivity, man. So they're going to go into captivity. They, they killed our people to, with the sword, so they're going to be killed with the sword. That's right. They are not escaping judgment. Yeah, and that's, that's, that scripture is plain to the point, man. Break that down, Volcan. That's right. That's plain to the point. When it, when it, when some of you don't agree with now all of a sudden it's symbolic. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? So that's pretty much it. You brothers got any other scriptures? I think we're done. Hey, with that, you know, you know, hopefully this was edifying. And, you know, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Rakash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.